One thing with the attempt last year uh, during training that I didn't do was a big uh, dress rehearsal swim. Something that we're doing this year is I'm going to do a 50 kilometer swim from halfway through the lake this whole second half to the finish. We got the kayak here set up and uh, it'll just be my dad and I kind of just practicing the nutrition the gear, everything like that. He's carrying everything on this solo kayak, but for the real one, we'll have most of this stuff on the support boats. We got the towing line, which we hook a light to and drag in the water. Or Nick can follow it during the night. Right here, with a light on the end of it. an umbrella that we're going to put over us to protect us from the extreme sun rays and then we're ready to go the big safari <laughs> the morning of the uh, long practice swim here starting her with a hornby bar and a banana for breakfast we're about five weeks out from the actual swim so this uh, this test today will be good to figure out what I need to work on and uh, give me enough time to recover for the real thing. So it's early morning, it's time to go. five hours in we got the bacon avocado bread sandwich good salts good fats carbs thirty six kilometers in uh, thirteen ish hours Got about 14 left to go. I'm gonna do my best uh, Ross Edgley impersonation with the bananas here. <laughs> Kenny came to relieve my dad for a little bit. We're gonna keep going, but it's here to help. Sometimes during training, you gotta swallow your pride. We were planning for around 50K from uh, the bridge in Kelowna to Penticton, the finish for the swim. And that would be like the second half of the swim, but it turned out to be farther than that. And when we were 17 hours in and like just under 50K, we had another 10K left and it's pitch black out. And my dad's been the only support crew at 73 years old in a kayak for 17 hours leading me. So we decided to just call her here for a great training day and got what we wanted. Test out the suit. She's a little dirty, but man, we're leaps and bounds ahead of where we were last year. Like my body feels great. I have none of the chafing at basically the exact same distance that just debilitated me last year. So pretty, uh, pretty happy with the results today, even though we didn't make it all the way, but we're back in that water doing the exact same route in five weeks. So we'll finish it off then. But today was a big day for sure to uh, figure everything out with the suit and uh, logistical stuff. And we're gonna have 
such a better logistical plan. This was just my dad and I out there literally and my mom on the shore to come pick us up, but just my dad and I out there and that one buddy Ken that just dropped something off for us for like one minute when we were out there, but just my dad and I the whole time ripping it, but man, it was a good day, good day. Absolute carnage with all the Vaseline and lubricants. Jeepers. Go above the half moon tan line. Mm -hmm. Can't forget the back racing straights. Holy, look at those lines. Here Vallejo just got done the big like 47k a couple days ago. Still got the bad tan line, but we're here getting a little treatment from the man Shannon. He always hooks me up with uh, treatment and recovery after stuff, so he's getting me right before uh, my big swim coming up in a few months or a few weeks. So hey guys, yeah, I just uh, I mean basically trying to be his go-to guy. So anything he needs, we do a lot of soft tissue, uh, some joint lobes, exercise, and then trying to keep him recovered as much as he can. He, he's the craziest guy ever, the amount of volume he does. So anything I can do to, to help his body maintain. I don't know if you're in Kelowna, Vallejo, we'll look you up good and well. One thing I like to use is these Normatec recovery, the boots and sleeves. They just squeeze it and they stimulate fresh blood flow. So I got on the big Michelin man boots and sleeves and lie here in the chair for a while. <clears throat> Recovery. Just got done at the layout, got my arms squeezed in on the Normatec boots and got an adjustment and a uh, some soft tissue work and worked on some band work and uh, stuff like that, shoulder stability. So it's always nice to get in here and get some recovery, but uh, five weeks out, baby, five weeks until the big show. So it's more or less just uh, continuing to build another layer of fitness and mentally preparing for the event ahead. So off to it. Uh, I feel like I had unfinished business. I'm somebody who, when they start something, I feel like I owe it to myself and everybody who I've said I'm going to do it to see it through. So uh, I've been uh, having a lot of thoughts about this winter. So it wasn't really an option to me. It was more of a need rather than a want. So I am uh, tying in uh, charity aspect, but I realize that people have such different passions in life and things that they support. Just finished an interview with Castanet News. It's a news outlet here in Kelowna, but. We definitely got a different swagger to the swim this year. Coming at it with that speedy vibe, but uh, it explained pretty much everything I've been talking about in the series and uh, just kind of publicly releasing it. But I do want to talk about uh, the charity. Last year I supported Brain Trust Canada. And this year uh, I'm actually doing something different. I realized that not everybody has the exact same passions that I might have and I don't want to miss out on any donations or anything that people might want to give if they don't support what I'm trying to support. So I ask that if you uh, feel inspired by the swim that you donate to whatever charity you feel uh, inspired by and then let me know on the take action part of my uh, website nickpeltier.ca. Let's uh, do some good. Officially one week out from the swim and uh, this is a smoke that we have to deal with. Hopefully it clears up in a week, but this is what we're dealing with right now. That's the way we'll be heading. If you want to come watch me during the swim, I'm going past under the bridge here and head towards Penticton, but right now it's super smoky, so hopefully that clears up, but we're one week out. I'm just excited, just stoked to get it going. Been too long coming, just want to get in there and start going, so. Super excited, but fingers crossed the smoke clears up. Just up on the bridge and look who we come across, old Jake by. Jake by! Oh. Sport all around. 
hands and eyes. Come on. August 3rd, baby, let's go. Everything you need, nothing you don't. That's a lineup. Me, Shim, and Hornby came in right in time for the swim. Be eating a fair amount of these during the swim, and uh, the crew will be treating them as well. So, thanks to Hornby for sending them out. One last thing. Uh, this is probably the last check-in before the actual swim, but we're planning on doing some YouTube lives at the start, a couple times throughout at the halfway point, the bridge, and then at the end. So just stay tuned to my website, nickpeltier.ca, to see those live times. And uh, thanks for tuning along. Now nothing to do but swim, let's go.